Oh my gosh, we're live. <laughs> Hi guys. I am so excited to be here. This is my very first Amazon Live. So if you're like me and you're just trying to figure out all these Prime Day deals without feeling overwhelmed, I'm absolutely here for you. One of the things that I think I struggle with the most is um, getting deals that people just kind of post. They're you know, kind of left wondering, are they even trying these products? Have they used them themselves? Or are they just trying to like promote them to other people? For me, the biggest thing is knowing that I have tried these products. I love these products. They are personally things that I went and pulled from my house. So you guys know that they have my stamp of approval. I have been a beauty and lifestyle creator for the last 13 years, which is a very long time. And it's given me a lot of time to build up credibility with my audience. So just know that I'm here for you. If you guys have any questions and you wanna know what it is that I'm sharing, like ask me detailed questions, ask me about the products. I use all of these, I love all of these. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first one, you know, I talked about this in my um, one of my stories a few weeks ago, but I normally used micellar water to take off my makeup, but I recently rediscovered my love for the pharmacy makeup remover, and I was so happy to see that it was on sale during Prime Day. And just to like prove to you guys, I mean, this is what's left of it. I absolutely love it. It's great for taking off your makeup at night. And it even works well with waterproof makeup. I think for me, I'm always very sensitive about taking off my eye makeup. That means eyeliner, mascara, liquid, all of it, even like eyebrow, um, and just making sure that it's not clogging my pores at night. This is, this is the one. So you just, it's very gentle. You want to rub very gently all over your face, really get into that eye area. And then I don't dry my face afterwards. Immediately, I will just go in and grab a cleanser. You can use any cleanser that you want and I will follow with that. And then when I towel dry my face, it's amazing because there's nothing on the towel. I like to exclusively use white towels. So I know if there's makeup left on my face, I feel like it's something that I do just as like a triple check. Um, but anyways, I really like this one. This is the Pharmacy Makeup Remover. It is on sale right now. It's 25% off, which is a great deal. I feel like these things never really go on sale. I've never seen them on sale during the Sephora sale or the Ulta sale. So the fact that Pharmacy is doing a quarter off right now is kind of amazing. So I would definitely recommend picking up the cleanser, especially if you want something um, that has a little bit of a more like gentle approach. Uh, Pharmacy is a very great company, especially when it comes to like clean beauty. So if that's something you're interested in, and I mean, like I said, I truly use it. It's almost gone. I think I need to pick up another one. Um, so maybe I'll be picking up one during the sale too. All right. The next thing that I wanted to talk about, and I really just want to get into the items because I know you guys are busy and you have a lot to do. So if you're tuning in, thank you so much for coming to my very first Amazon live. Be sure to hit that follow button so you can see when I go live. I'm trying to make this a weekly cadence because Amazon um, Prime Day is now. We're going to be doing this right now and I'm going to try for one tomorrow as well, but I would love your feedback on what worked and what didn't work just so I can get better at this new skill. All right. One of the top things that I got asked about was clean beauty recommendations. Everybody wants to know what brands they should look for. And I think the big thing with clean beauty, especially for me, is that I would love to support a clean beauty brand. I love their mission. I love that they went through extensive testing to make sure that the products are what they say they are, but it has to be effective. Like if it's not working, there's really no point. This one works. Milk Makeup is one of my favorite brands, and when I saw that they were on sale during Prime Day, I literally went into my cabinet and I picked my favorites. So there's two that I'm gonna talk about today. The first one is the Milk Hydro Grip. I actually talked about this one a lot when I was doing my video on why your makeup separates. So if you have really patchy makeup and you feel like your makeup application just isn't sitting well, I did a video where I talked about the difference between water-based products and silicone-based products. Um, if you guys want me to kind of go into that into another video, maybe it would be an interesting one to show you my like combo favorites. But basically you want to make sure that your primer and your foundation and your setting spray are all matching. And Milk is one of the few brands that does a water-based setting spray and also a water-based primer. That one's also on sale. I didn't add that link, but if you click on this and just go to Milk from here, you'll be able to see that Milk also has a Hydro Grip primer. That's amazing. I think I ran out of mine or else I would grab it for you, but I did love it and it goes with one of my favorite water-based foundations. So if you are somebody who uses a water-based foundation 
um, just go ahead and grab this milk setting spray. It's called the Grip Set, and it's great for setting at the end, but what I think people miss is that you can actually use this as you do your makeup. So as you're actually doing your makeup and you're going through and you're kind of spritzing your face after every step, that's what allows you to make sure that your makeup is sitting and setting well. So every step, I mean, if you do a foundation, if you do a cream-based blush, if you do a bronzer, you can set this throughout. My favorite thing is actually to use an alcohol-based setting spray at the end, but that's only if you have a long day like a wedding or something but for daily use or even for just an afternoon to evening event like if you want to make sure your makeup lasts I would grab this one it's a great one all right speaking of milk um okay if you guys are part of my newsletter and if you're not that's totally okay but the work wife is my uh, weekly newsletter. It's something that we actually send out for every week on Wednesday, but then also we have some specialty editions. Today was an Amazon specialty edition, but my newsletter readers on The Work Wife will know that I have been on the hunt for a contour stick for my skin tone for the longest time. I have tried Rare Beauty, I have tried Fenty, and I love those brands, but I just couldn't find the product that really worked for me. Um, this tiny little thing is called the Milk Contour Stick. It's in the shade Stoked, um, and I kind of want to show you guys what that looks like. So do you see how it is more of a cool tone? There isn't a lot of warmth in here. What happens is that when we're applying our contour, and I would do this for you, maybe I'll do like a get ready with me one day. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to take questions if, if, they fit the, um, if they fit the product and what I'm talking about, I'm happy to answer them. But as we're going through and kind of making sure that we're looking for a contour stick that makes the most sense for your skin tone, contour is different than bronzer. And I think that that's something that a lot of people get mixed up about. Um, they kind of think that they can use them interchangeably, but they're actually very different. And so a quick little lesson, bronzer is used to add warmth to your face. So you want to kind of do it where you think you would, the sun would hit you. So you want to have it um, you know, kind of on like your cheeks, you want to put it on your forehead, you want to have it where the sun touches. Contour is the opposite. It's not where the light hits, it's where the shadows hit. So underneath your blush, underneath, you want to kind of do this to give you more of like a chiseled effect. So I like to apply my, my contour here, I like to apply it here, and even sometimes on my chin, it's not something I do all the time, but this thing, absolutely magic. It is that perfect cool tone. It's also on sale right now. Um, I, it's $18, which is down from 24. It is an absolute great product to have. I really, really love it. So I would definitely go for the milk contour stick. All right, the next one that I wanted to talk about, and again, I love these because they're things that I actually use. This is my go-to concealer right now, and I wear the shade, um, I'm usually a medium neutral, so this is the shade uh, Biscayne Neutral. I think it's 310 if I'm not mistaken, or 320, but it is the neutral. And I love, love, love this. Nothing blends like Lancome, and I have truly been like a drugstore girly when it comes to makeup. It's something that I, feel like it's very rare that you need a high-end product. A lot of times, like unless you're doing foundation, it's probably fine to use what you have. This breaks all of the rules. I finally understand why these formulas have more testing, why they're better formulated. Like this Lancome concealer, absolutely amazing. And it's normally $30. It's on sale, it's 30% off right now. It's $20. The last time I walked into a Target, there were cover girl concealers that were $18. So this is literally almost drugstore right now. You're probably gonna spend an extra $5. Absolutely worth it. I think what makes it very different is that it has a very wide base. Do you see that? I feel like I'm gonna do one of those like YouTube beauty influencers, but um, it has a very wide base and this um, applicator, it's like a sponge that will get very wide and very deep. So it's honest, I need to do a get ready with me because I feel like it'd be fun to show you guys how all of these work. But this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products. Um, I did, like I said, never have used it before this year. Now I'm sold. This uh, is on sale for $20 right now. It's the all over concealer. 
quick lesson on spots for concealer obviously underneath your eyes i think when we were when i was learning how to do makeup about a decade ago i was kind of taught to do the triangle so we would do this all the way down and i think more updated makeup techniques are telling you that that kind of pulls your eye downwards and you want to make sure that your face stays lifted so instead it's a good idea to put a little bit of concealer here and then a little bit of concealer here to really create this like lifted effect another place i like to put concealer i always like to put a little tip on my nose i feel like that's a little weird and not everybody does that um, but i think it adds a little bit of brightness to the middle of my face so anyways it's a little tip from me okay Moving on, um, this is probably one of my favorite deals and that's because it's 30% off and they never go on sale. This is the T3 Automatic Curl Wrap. If you are somebody who isn't great with a curling iron and maybe you don't hold it for long enough or you hold it for too long, I really recommend using this one. I have a video that I'm going to post on my Instagram at Sabrina Molu and probably going to do it tonight but there is a five second and an eight second option. And that's the first sign that you know that this is a good product because if you're doing this for five seconds or eight seconds and that's it per strand, that's pretty amazing. But what's really cool about this is that it actually auto wraps. So there's a home button and you go back to center every time and then you can move it right or left depending on how you want the barrel to turn. It will count for you. It'll count for five seconds or it'll count for eight seconds and then it'll ding and it'll tell you that it's time to let your hair down. Maybe we'll do a get ready with me with a hair video too. I feel like that would be fun. Um, the T3 Air, I think it's called the Curl Wrap. This is the automatic curling iron. It's 30% off really never goes on sale. It's probably one of my favorite products. This is the 1.25 and I find that it's a little bit better for like those bigger, bouncier curls or if you have long hair. If you have short hair, this is definitely gonna give you more of a blowout look, which is also very in right now. So if you are looking for a new curling iron, you're on the market, I highly recommend T3. And I think a couple of things from the brand are on sale. It's probably one of my favorites, but I also have their blow dryer and I absolutely love it. Um, the Dyson blow dryer is also on sale during Prime Day and truly I want to get it because I know so many people love it, but I have the T3 one already and it's great. It blow dries my hair so fast. Sahara uses it every day, so it's not really necessary for me. So I'm gonna stick with what I have and not uh, buy things I don't need, but if you need a curling iron, I love this one. Okay, moving on. I feel like I really always have to talk about this one. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. If you have seen this on everybody's list, there is a reason. It is a great product. It's always on sale during Prime Day. I think this is probably the third Prime Day. I bought this a year ago, maybe like last fall Prime Day. I've made quite a dent in it, but honestly, it's not gone yet. Like it's pretty significant. I also put it on Sire. It is something that you can put on at night after you wash your face, after you put on your moisturizer. I like to just put my nail in this a little bit after I wash my hands and just kind of put it all over my lips. It, You wake up with softer lips. You wake up with lips that feel really hydrated, especially in the winter as we get into those cooler months. If you're sleeping with a fan, this thing is magic. You don't want your lips to dry out. That's how you see those like cracking when you're wearing lipstick or your favorite lip gloss. A lip mask is going to be amazing, especially a sleeping one. And I'm not someone who does full face sleeping masks. I don't love the stickiness, um, but I'm very, very excited about the lip sleeping mask. Um, and hi, Nermeen. I'm so excited that you're here from Instagram. This is my first Amazon Live. So thank you from everyone who has joined. It's been really fun to learn how to do this. And um, I hope I get to do a lot more. But yeah, the Laneige. Um, it also comes in a couple of different... Um, I don't want to say flavors, but I truly think they're flavors. If you, uh, the purple one is also really great. I've tried that one as well, but I mean, don't eat them. They just kind of smell good. This is a really great option. It's $16.80. I also think this is a good gift. If you are getting somebody either a stocking stuffer or just kind of throwing it in for like a girl's gift, I love being able to buy like little skincare products or a really nice moisturizer or something for my friends that I know that they probably wouldn't buy for themselves. Everybody loves this. Anyone who gets this will love it. Your mom, your mother-in-law, your sister, your friend, anyone will love this. It's a great gift to stock up on. And at 1680, I mean, 30% off is a great deal. 
All right, newsletter subscribers are gonna know that I'm gonna talk about this because this has been my Q4 goal. My Q4 goal has been to smell good and to be soft. I am the absolute laziest when it comes to moisturizing my body out of the shower. Um, I fell into a pretty bad routine of my skin getting extremely dry. I know that I should take lukewarm showers, but I just don't. I like uh, really warm showers. It just makes me feel good. So it's really important that I hydrate. And so I started adding two products into my routine. The first one um, that you actually use in the shower, we're gonna talk about in a minute, but this is the one that I use outside of the shower. So you can layer with any um, lotion that you want. I have a link to my newsletter if you um, want a recommendation, but after you put on your lotion, you wanna seal it in with an oil. My best friend told me about this one. It is the Santal Bloom from Saltaire. You can see I have literally had this for maybe two months and this is, I've already made a significant dent in it. It's almost gone. Um, I mean, I probably have like a few more months. I'd say by the end of the year, I'm definitely gonna be out. A little bit does go a long way, but you wanna put a cup, so it says a few pumps in the palm of your hand, massage it onto still damp skin after the bath or shower. So what I, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that you feel like you can trust my recommendations. And like I said in the beginning, you guys know that I will only talk about things that I have myself, that I use, and that I love. I'm not in the business of trying to get you guys to spend money frivolously. And please only shop if you really are interested and that you're looking for things because I know there's a lot of pressure to buy um, during these big sales and sometimes we get roped into buying things we don't really need. So I hope that you feel like you can trust my recommendations and if you're in the market for something, that's when you buy. Okay, so back to the Saltaire, um, the Nourishing Body Oil. After whatever lotion it is that you love, put this on, you will smell so good and that moisture that came from the lotion is actually going to stay on your skin. I know what you're gonna ask. You're gonna ask if it's sticky and it's not sticky, but it does take a minute to dry down. So for me, I like to use it as soon as I'm out of the shower, then I'll probably brush my teeth. I will put like a leave-in conditioner in my hair and I'll kind of just let it towel dry and just put a robe on. And then when I'm ready to like put on my pajamas and go to bed, it's dried down. So like I said, two months, I've made a significant dent. I absolutely love it. It's been instrumental in my goal of smelling better and just staying softer and caring for my body. All right, so I mentioned the uh, way leave-in conditioner. Um, so like I said, sometimes when I don't do, my kind of my go-to is to not really to do a conditioner. I talked about this in my video where I mentioned the shampoo and the mask combo. If you don't end up masking that day um, and you wanna skip leave-in conditioner, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting a good leave-in conditioner, especially if you're back from a beach, from a trip, if you have color-treated hair, any hair that gets really soft I, or that needs to be really soft, I would go with a leave-in conditioner. This is a great option. $23 is honestly a steal when it comes to this product. It does last a really long time. You can see I've only used a little bit of this. This is my second bottle, but I probably got the first one a year ago. So I only use this when I am skipping a mask. So I probably maybe once a week. So it's not, I, I mean, I'm not like pouring through it. But if you're skipping conditioner, this is a great option. I also want to say I use this on Mila because there's no way she's going to let me do two, like wash her hair twice, once with shampoo and once with conditioner. If you have a little, you probably know the feeling. So I would go with a leave-in conditioner. This one is from Way. Like I said, I've used it quite a bit, probably once a week. It is a bit thicker, but the way that it comes out, it doesn't make your hair feel heavy. And I think that that's important. It also does have um, some detangling agents. So I like to spritz this on my hair, let it sit for a minute, and then I start brushing it from the bottom after I wash my hair. So this is a really great option for that. All right, I want to switch gears a little bit. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have talked about this tier tier cushion uh, foundation so many times. This is actually my so I bought the big one and then I also bought the travel size. They're both on sale right now. I want to say they're 40% off. It's basically drugstore at this point. 40% off makes this $15. I'm wearing the shade 29N. And if you heard about the K-Beauty, um, found, if you heard about this cushion foundation kind of in the beginning, you probably remember that there weren't a ton of um, colors. There weren't a ton of shades. I was actually the darkest that they offered, which is really sad, but 
The good news is that they have expanded their shade range. I think they have over 40 shades now. I'm no longer the darkest at 29N, but this is what it looks like, and you can tell it is extremely worn. I have done a lot of videos on this. I've washed this multiple times, but the way that you're gonna use it is that you basically, when you open it up, it kind of looks like this, and then you peel back this little uh, film that's on the inside, and so you open it up kind of like a book, and it looks like this. It's like this spongy material, which is kind of nice because the color sits in, and you just very gently tap it. I put my two fingers in here. You tap this, and you can, if you push hard, you're gonna get a lot. So be very gentle as you kind of work into it. And then it will look like you have nothing on the back. It will look like there's just specks, but that's on purpose. And then you're gonna dab off any excess on the back. And again, it's really important to wash this after, I mean, no one's gonna do it after every use, but after maybe a week or so, put the rest on the back, and then you're gently going to press it into your skin. I really do need to do it again, ready with me, because I think that would be fun. Um, but you're gonna push it everywhere into your skin. I absolutely love this. I think one of the best things about the Tear Tear is that it's truly buildable. And I say that because I've tried so many products over the years. And when I say buildable, I mean how hard you push is how much coverage you get. I have worn this to the beach with literally barely tapping it and feeling like I have a little bit of coverage over my sunscreen to wearing it to a wedding and having full coverage. So whatever you want to get out of this, it's a great option. At $15, it's 40% off. I mean, if you've ever wanted to try it, this is the time. I am wearing the shade 29N. I'm generally a medium neutral skin tone, if that helps. Um, but they do have, I know a lot of people ask me how to find your shade. They do have a starter pack, and I'm not sure if that's included in the Amazon sale, but I would go ahead and tap on this tier tier link that I have, and then you can go and see. They do have a sampler where you can kind of pick a couple of shades and figure out your perfect match. But I highly, highly recommend. I will say the first time I recommended this, I got DMs for weeks with people telling me that they have tried it and they love it. So if you are one of those people who have tried this and you have a review, you have to send it to me. I'll post it on my Instagram. I love, love, love to hear it. It's been a big hit amongst my readers. Okay, moving on. We're getting to the end, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, if you buy one skincare product, just one, I want it to be this. This is the Paula's Choice BHA. I wish I could, mm, I wish I could show you guys how little is left in this because I use this every single week. It's gentle enough to use daily, but I will say that it is salicylic acid. So if you are somebody who gets adult acne breakouts, I think we all kind of get breakouts, but I get them especially in my T-zone. Grab a cotton pad, put this on just a couple of drops. You don't need to douse it. And you just wanna swipe it gently across your face. Use it one to three times a week, every other day at the max. Your skin will thank you. And I only use this when I do feel like I have more blemishes, my skin feels like it's breaking out a little bit more. This is my go-to. I have been using this, oh my gosh, since I lived in my old house was the first time that I tried the Paula's Choice BHA. Honestly, it's on everybody's holy grail list. If you follow any skin influencers, this is probably in everyone's cabinet. It is one of the best products. The first time I used it, I got the mini size from Amazon. Um, it wasn't on sale during Prime Day, but I got the mini size. I went out and I bought the big size because it is truly that good. It's something you should keep in your cabinet. I give it to Sahir every time he has a breakout. All you need to do is swipe it across your face. You can follow with moisturizer if your skin is very dry. This is something that you should keep. I also get a lot of questions about, obviously, adult acne breakouts, but if you know or love a teenager, my cousin came to me and said, what do I do about my breakouts? I recommended this to her with a little bit of a Depline gel. It cleared up her skin in a way that she had never seen before without any prescription medication, anything crazy. This is Paula's Choice's best product and it makes complete sense. It is an incredible product. I highly, highly recommend stocking up. I'll probably buy another one because I truly am almost running out. All right, switching back a little bit, when I talked about that in shower moisturizer, if you're like me, you're so lazy, when you get out of the shower, the last thing you wanna do is to put on more lotions and oils, but if you're in the shower, you're motivated. This is the L'Octane, um, this is the almond oil, and I'll tell you a quick little story about how I found out about this. 
So I am in a Facebook group on Instagram called Little Brown Diary, and it is a group of brown women who kind of just talk about everything. So sometimes they'll talk about products, sometimes they'll talk about recommendations, sometimes they'll talk about uh, wanting advice or in-law drama or just things that like brown women can give advice on or kind of crowdsource. They made a list of your absolute holy grail favorite product and this thing came up so many times on that list and the number of likes that each of it had, I was sold. So I, with my own money, went out and purchased it. Loctane has since gifted me more of it, but like, look at this guys. I have made such, and it's a, it's a massive bottle. I mean, this is 17 fluid ounces, it's huge. I have made such a significant dent in this in the last six months. This is what I use in the shower. So I do think it's a cleansing oil, so you probably don't even have to use soap, but I still kind of put my body wash all over. Then I go back in with this, and the way that you use it is that you just kind of, so it says it transforms when the water hits it, but you basically just put it into your hand, add a little touch of water, or put it on your already wet body. You're just gonna wanna coat your body in this, do a quick rinse on your way out, and then towel, like pat dry with a towel, your skin. Okay, the combination of these two, you don't even need the lotion, but if you do add the lotion, it's even better. But between these two, your skin will be so soft and will smell so good. This really doesn't go on sale often. It's only $23 right now. Um, it's a good question. It's actually an almond oil, so it doesn't smell. I mean, I'm not super, super um, sensitive to smells. It smells like almond oil. <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's not too strong, but it does smell like um, almost like fragrancy like it smells a little bit nutty I don't know if that makes sense it's an almond but it's an almond oil and I personally really love it if you're lazy and you don't love to do things after the shower highly highly recommend it I get why all of the girls in Little Brown Diaries talked about it I understand all right switching gears a little bit back to well I guess we're still talking about the shower if you um are have you watched my video on the shampoo plus mask combo instead of the shampoo and conditioner combo? You know what I'm talking about. This is the way fine to medium hair. If you have super thick hair, I think they have a separate option, which is probably still, if you click on this link, you can probably still go to it from the way website. Um, but I'm a third, a third of the way done. I don't want it to fall, but this is how much is left in there. I really like this one. I usually only keep it on for about five minutes. It's, I wonder if that's right. Um, yeah, so it says chill out for five to 10 minutes. Apply generously to wet, clean hair from roots to end. So first I do shampoo, then I put this on. Comb through with your fingers. I have one of those like little scalp massagers, so I usually just kind of brush that through my hair. Chill out for five to 10 minutes. This is like an everything shower kind of day. So I go in and I, you know, I shave and I moisturize and I exfoliate. I do all of the other, I do the almond oil. I do all the other things. Let it kind of stay in my hair and then I'll go and rinse it out. You don't need to follow up with anything after that. My hair is so much softer. I do usually avoid the very top. It does say from roots to ends. I don't go like right here. I'll probably start an inch or so down just because I feel like sometimes the masks are a little heavy on my roots and they get oily or faster. Um, if you don't have that problem, I think you could start at the roots. But anyways, this is one of my favorite masks. I think it's good for everyone. Um, and I will say that because I don't think it's particularly heavy. It's mostly for people whose hair is thirsty, is what they say. So more dehydrated hair, hair that needs more bounce, hair that needs just a little bit more body, I would go with this mask. $30 right now, 20% off, pretty good deal. And while we're on the topic of shampoos and hair, this is another thing. You know, it's funny because people will always ask me and they will say, what shampoo do you use? And it's such a complicated question for me because I use so many of them. I end up um, doing something that I like to call hair cycling and I'm due for um, a work wife column on this. I'm gonna talk all about it in my newsletter, link all the products that I use. But as if you want a little preview, this is gonna be in it. It's, again, I wish I could show you. It's literally empty. It's probably this much left. K18 is one of my favorite brands and their mask is my absolute favorite. If you've been following me, you know that. It's not on sale. I checked. It's not on sale. At least not today. Maybe tomorrow. It's not on sale. This is. This is the K18 Preptide Prep. If you oil your hair, and if you're brown and you know, or you're just in the know, you know that oiling your hair helps it keep 
It's um, strong, it keeps it healthy. I oil my hair, I try to do it once a week. This is what I use afterwards. No need to double shampoo or triple shampoo. You just have to use this once. It's a detox shampoo. I also like to use this after I use dry shampoo. You don't know or you can't tell, but I have a ton of dry shampoo in my hair right now because it is day three. And this thing is magic. Your hair goes back to just feeling so clean. I like to layer it after, like I said, after I oil my hair, wash your hair with this. It's pH optimized, it's color safe. It's one of my favorite products. I use this every single week. And I, I like I said, I wish I could show you. It's down, it's down to here. We're at the very bottom of it. Um, but it is such an amazing product. K18 is an awesome brand. So I highly, highly recommend. All right. If you want to buy something for yourself or a gift for someone in your life, my mom, my husband, everybody I know loves the Belief Aqua True, sorry, the True Cream Aqua Balm, True Cream Aqua Balm. So it's, it's interesting because on the thing that actually says skin hydration level instantly increased by 231.4%, which is very specific, but clearly it is, um, it's something that they've formulated and that they've tested. Now I've talked about this a really long time. You're going to say that this one hasn't had a huge dent because it's brand new. Um, you guys asked me the last time I talked about belief, which if I go back in my phone, I literally have pictures of me talking about this since 2008. Sacker's favorite. It, I think belief is also a K beauty brand. Yeah. It's made in Seoul. Uh, it's made in Korea. They reformulated. So they have a new one and this is why people have been like, but is it still as good? It is, I got the new one. I haven't made a huge dent in it because it is brand new, but I tried it. It's on sale right now, it's 30% off. Sahir loves this. If you're somebody who likes moisturizer or you have a partner or a family member who loves a moisturizer, or well, let's say this, who needs moisturizer but doesn't like the thickness, like they want that watery feel, they wanna feel like it just melted into their skin, this is what you have to get. Like I said, it's K-Beauty, it's super clean, it's a great product. It literally feels like water on your skin. This is the new version of it. It's the new, um, it's the new one that they designed. It's newly formulated. I don't know what's changed, but I truly still love it. I, I don't think that it's been it's significant enough for me to notice. But yes, if to answer your question, I tried the new one and I do really like it. Oh my gosh! Okay, we're on my last one. So I added this one at the end. I didn't think I was going to talk about an extra thing, but I always buy these during the Amazon Prime sale. This is the Touchland Power Mist. I all of the Touchland hand sanitizers are just one of those things that really are a luxury. All hand sanitizers are kind of the same, but I really love how it spritzes. I love how it sprays. It's one. It's Mila's favorite hand sanitizer, so I keep it in every car getting in and out of the playground. I always make sure that she uses it every time she gets in and out of the car. Not trying to get sick this time of year. So if you um, want to just, I mean, it's just so nice to keep in your bag. It doesn't spill, it doesn't come out. It's super cute looking. It's definitely more of a luxury than a need, I'm not gonna lie to you, but Touchstone is a great brand and they have a really good story too. So I like to support them. This is the Wild, wild Watermelon, but I buy these three packs so I get every single option available but anyways i really like them this is all my favorites if you guys have any questions you can um always send it on my instagram and i will uh post some of these there i try not to do too many stories but i know prime day is um alive and well and we're all kind of wondering what to get so if you guys have any questions be sure to send them to me there if not i'm thinking tomorrow we're going to do a different kind of amazon live uh but let's see i would love to hear your feedback if you joined from instagram please share it to send me a message I will see you guys in the next one.